So now we will see how exactly the embryos develop. So we'll start with the zygote, remember? The zygote carrying 2n number of chromosomes, it's a diploid cell. Now this zygote start dividing and sooner they are going to make 1 to 2 cell from 2 to 4, 4 to 8, 8 to 16 and the cells start to arrange like the stack, stack of cells. So the division is exponential, remember? So 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8 and so on it continues. So whenever they form this 8 to 16 cell stage, this is very very important, the 16 cell stage, you know, and they are arranging side by side stack of cells. That is known as a mass of cells and that is known as morula, morula state. Now this morula, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's not hollow, it's compact, it's tight. Now the cells slowly start to arrange to the surroundings. creating a central pore in the middle. This state is known as blastula. So if you compare morula with blastula, what you find? In morula, there is no central cavity. But in blastula, there is a central cavity. It's a fluid filled cavity. Okay? Now, this fluid filled cavity is known as blastocele. And each of the cells of this blastula state is known as blastomere. Okay? And the outer membrane that covers the blastula is known as blastoderm. So blastoderm, blastocele, which is a fluid filled cavity and blastomere are the independent cells. So what you can see here, morula is a undifferentiated mass of cells, compact, like a fully compact sphere. Then once cells start arranging, they form blastula state and blastula is a hollow sphere of cell. It's like a ball with, with a hollow center. That center is filled with fluid known as blastocele and the cells surrounding them blastomeres and the total outer line or outer membrane is blastoderm or sometimes it's also known as trophoblast so this trophoblast tissue that is present outside of the blastula is the one which will engage in interaction with the uterine fundus during the implantation so while the implantation is in progress that particular zygote which is produced in the fallopian tube start dividing and produce the blastula state and that will be embedded into the uterine wall in the endometrium and the endometrium tissue slowly start to engulf and interact with this trophoblast and slowly start to engulf it inside that concludes the process of implantation of the developing embryo remember so that requires division of the cells and migration of the cell but blastula is not the end once blastula is there implantation will take place now as they are implanted the blood supply will be connected with this implanted embryo and then they will slowly start getting all the nutrients for their growth that's the idea behind the embryogenesis in human so those cells now in the blastula state those cells will start divide and they will produce three separate layers ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. Now from those three separate layers different types of body tissues will be produced. Now the formation of that layer is also known as gastrulation that is simply the migration of cell at a specific site to form different layers of tissues gastrulation and the state that that contains three separate layers of tissue ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm is also known as gastrula state okay so that are the sequential steps of embryogenesis in human embryo development.